Hi, this is a plastic trim that I pulled off from my car and I made a project video this scan, reverse and 3D print this part uh, the printing result is okay it fit well and it's strong enough when I uh, try to pull in and out from the car several times there's no issue with that the only issue is that it still looks like it's a 3D print with the layer lines when I touch it I can feel the roughness of the layer lines and I still can see a defect from high speed printing everywhere high speed printing is good in the term of that it saves time but it creates a wavy line only way to remove it is to print slower which is not ideal for me so in this video I try to remove all of this layer lines uh, by using a car filler Okay, this is a car filler that I land on, purchased from an online store. And I never tried with a 3D printed part. When I open it, it contains a high amount of solvent. So you should be using this outdoor in a well ventilated area. And it dry quickly. You can start sanding within uh, one or two hours after applying. Let's try with this. The filler dry quickly, especially this one, and it comes with this spatula, which is good for the car body, but it's bad for the 3D printed part, which is smaller and has a lot of uh, small curve. So uh, my suggestion is just to use your finger to dip it like so, and then apply it with the finger you need to uh, spread quickly this filler costs um, about four dollars and i think you can uh, fill at least 20 parts about this size so it's not expensive See here, it's all done. Just leave it to dry. It doesn't say what kind of solvent that they put in here. I need to wrap it because it's contained high solvent. So if I don't wrap it like this, with a wrap, it will evaporate even I close the lid. Uh, so I used uh, 600 grit sandpaper uh, for sanding the filler uh, One sheet costs around 50 cent Usually when I sand, I will use this uh, plastic block to hold sandpaper And this is a template that I use uh, for cutting the abrasive paper And the template size is 2 by 12.5 centimeters So in one sheet I can cut so I have one strip so this is how I apply it I wrap it around like this so like, just like that and 
it will be in tension the sandpaper will be in tension and you probably need to uh, print a couple of this I put the download link in the description I will assign a filler, I will hold it like this uh, with two fingers so because if you fold sandpaper you probably uh, going to spend the entire sheet on just this part so this one will save sandpaper So I have already finished a sanding a filler. I apply only one coat. It's a matte black color. Here's the result after the painting. Uh, this is a uh, printed part, and this one, this one with the paint and the filler. Okay, so the difference is quite a lot. The original 3D print part is quite rough, and this one is very smooth. And if you look at the smoothness of the surface, uh, this one is much better. See here, there's no layer line when I move my fingers across it. Very smooth. So here on this side, I will. There's some defect here, 
when I apply the filler, I need to apply it quickly because it's dry so quick. I spread it too slow, it's cause the defects on the surface that I can't sand it out. For the first time, I think it come out quite good. So it's look totally different. This one, you can obviously see that it's a 3D print part and it looks cheap. But this one, there's no layer lines anywhere. It doesn't look like a 3D printed part at all. And when compare it to the original part, this is the original part. It looks very close. Yeah, it looks very close. Yeah. If they don't flip to the back, <laughs> they wouldn't know that it's 3D print. Uh, you can also apply filler on the back side, but I think it's a waste of time. This is the fastest way to make a smooth surface from a 3D print. Uh, it's better than the lily sand to the ABS filament and it's fast to apply, fast to sand and I already do two coating of the top coat. Thanks you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.